Hi, everybody. I'm Mike Staver. This is Money's with Mike, a weekly video series where I answer questions from people like you. Another great question, as all of them are. Our team does a great job of putting these questions together for us. Um, dear Mike, I have heard you say, this always scares me when these start, that silence doesn't equal agreement. I have heard you say that silence doesn't equal agreement. That's true. Just because somebody's silent doesn't mean they agree with you. Other than the obvious, just because someone doesn't say anything doesn't mean they agree with you. Well, that's what I just said. What are other things I should be paying attention to to deal with someone, deal with those that are not forthcoming with their opinions, especially when those opinions are important to the project? Mm, this is really good. I have heard you say that silence doesn't equal agreement. Other than the obvious, just because somebody doesn't say anything doesn't mean they agree with you. What are other things I should be paying attention to to deal with those that are not forthcoming with their opinions, especially when those opinions are important to a project? Uh, a couple things. First of all, observe behavior. If a person sits silently in a meeting and then they go out and behave um, out of alignment with the decisions that were made at the meeting, you probably want to have a conversation with them. That's the first thing to pay attention to. Behavior always reflects where a person's I don't want to say loyalties are, but where a person is leaning. So that's the first thing. The second thing that you pay attention to is you pay attention to the comments that are made or the conversations that are had with this person outside of the meeting. People will generally share their opinion or they will infer um, their opinion if they don't bring it up publicly. I have developed a habit in my role when I'm in a meeting. If I have not heard from a person, I will look at that person and say, John or Jane, I'd like you to weigh in on this and share what your opinion is on this. Um, because I want to hear them. And then they're on the record with it. But I don't always put people on the spot, but sometimes I do. Particularly if I have somebody in a meeting that feels distracted to me or they're not paying attention, I'll just ask them, hey, what's your opinion? So watch for behavior. Listen for what the conversations are outside of the meeting about the project or the issue. And then when in the meeting, if you want their opinion, ask them. Don't say, and don't say this, anybody have anything to add? Anybody have an opinion? Because a lot of people just stare at you. Unless they're really out there like me, I'm going to go, well, here's where I'm at. Unless it's a, you know, unless it's a ticking time bomb. So I sit on boards and I am in meetings often where people are quiet. Doesn't mean they don't have an opinion. And I always ask. And if they say, no, I'm neutral on this, really, 100%, then that's that. All right. And then as a final straw, if you really need them to weigh in, tell them. Tell them before the meeting. I need you to weigh in on this. All right. Hopefully that's helpful. If you have a question, send it to info at MikeStaver.com. That's info at MikeStaver.com. And we're going to work it into a Mondays with Mike very soon. Thank you for watching. We appreciate it very much. Don't forget to share Mondays with Mike on your social channels. Share it with your friends, family members, colleagues, etc. We want to spread the wealth as best we can. I'm actually trying to keep these down to three minutes. I haven't done a very good job lately, though. So we put them on TikTok. You know what I mean? Like TikTok, but I can't. It's three minutes. It doesn't work. All right. Take care, everybody. Till next time. Bye-bye.